in the English, right, the King James Version, when we read it in the in the Amharic, right, in the Metaf Kedus, in the Book of the Seven Seals, Revelation 5.5, 5, right, in Kedamawi Hala Salas, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah in the Amharic Bible, because you remember Ethiopia, one of the first places mentioned in the Bible, you see, this is not out of pride, this is out of a fact, this is just a basic fact, right, a fact of the matter, when we look at this right here, it says, come, in verse 1, I mean, chapter 1, verse 10, it says, come on, right, come on, let us deal wisely with them. Now, we have to put these matters into context. Let's go to verse 8. We're in verse 8, it says, Begiptim Yosefin Yalawak Adis Negus Tenesa. It says, now there arose up a new king over Egypt. Look at the back of your dollar. What's that pyramid doing there? Uh, when have you seen pyramids in Amer Have you seen a pyramid like this in America? You understand? Have you seen this? Where does this come from? Where does the motif come from? It comes from ancient Egypt. Remember in the scriptures, the prophetic scripture, the Lord says over and over and over again. He says that in the latter days, right? In the latter days, the latter days, the last times and dispensations, you will consider it perfectly, right? Consider it perfectly. There, for those who are awake and growing in their conscience and becoming enlightened in the true light they're beginning to recognize even more and more it's like hd tv it's becoming high definition for those who fall back to sleep or are in a deep sleep or are still dreaming it's going to become a nightmare and a nightmare before you know it in fact it's already a nightmare but they can't they, they just can't see it you know understand they're still uh, they're still intoxicated they're still drunk but the wine is going to run out. The bread is going to run out. The oil is going to run out. Verse 9. It says, and he said to his people. Now notice, this new king has his own people. Right, just like Barack Hussein Obama, he has his own people. We think folks think, oh, it's black folks. Black folks didn't even know about him before what was it, oh eight. You understand? Most black folks didn't even know about him before oh eight. You understand? Barack Obama, you understand? But he had his own people. You understand? He had his own people, and if you have investigated from the various different investigations, his life story, and of course, there's the good, the bad, and the ugly, and and, and, and there's a lot of true information and probably some dubious information there. But there's consistent information that shows he has his own people. But do we know his people? You know, I was watching Alex Jones show and Alex Jones was saying that one was telling him, stop attacking Obama, but go after those who support him. You understand who support him? You understand he has a whole infrastructure. He has his people just as this king, this new king over Egypt right this new king over this spiritual Egypt this new king over DC did not know Yosef did not know Joseph this is why the question came out and some folks are beginning to reflect on it he really doesn't know the so-called uh, Negro the so-called Negro experience the so-called Hebrew the so-called black people experience he doesn't know that you understand I mean what surprised me was the fact that so many black women, right, didn't recognize that y'all are supporting someone who has an African father, right, from Africa, but a white mother, and you know full well that if he had a, if his mother was like Michelle, his wife, y'all would not support him. So what is that about? Willie Lynch? Could that be a product of Willie Lynchism? Since in Willie Lynch, they said that the black woman is vital to the economy, right? To the economy of slavery. And we're going beyond just the white man slavery because now we're getting into the satanic, the Luciferian, the devil realm, the real spiritual realm. You understand? Because the white man was deceived too. Like ancient black peoples were deceived too. All peoples, the serpent, the Satan, the devil that deceived all people, right? But here, this new king says to his people, Behold, look and see the people of the children of Israel. Notice what it says, the people, 
right? Of the children of Israel. It doesn't say the people of Israel. It doesn't say just the children of Israel. It says the people who are of the children of Israel. See now Amos 9 and 7 says, Are you not like the Bene Kushim, the children of Ethiopians, unto me, O children of Israel? Now if you're old enough, and if you have some of these old dictionaries um, lying around, right? You know, like your 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 grandmama's, your grandpapa's dictionary. You probably can go online and maybe look at some of the old Google books and everything. And you look up Ethiopian in the old dictionary. It basically is is defined as a Negro, a Negro. This is another reason why many um um black peoples in America, really starting from the black church. This is the key thing. The black church has totally forgotten and given up on Ethiopia. This is amazing. When it was the black church, that from the black church came that proper identification of us as Ethiopians, that connection with the Bible and the children of Israel. And we started to learn the truth, right, about who we really be. Even though a lot of the pastors and preachers today, they're a little bit rusty on that, but they need to go to their roots. You understand? Just look at the dictionary. The definition of Ethiopian was Negro, right? That's why more, many of our intellectuals and biblical scholars and others associated from their readings and study of the Bible. I have a book here. Uh, huh? The definition of Negro also was Ethiopian. Yeah, the de- well, the definition of Ethiopian was Negro. Well, well, no, I know, I know, I, I, no, no, I'm just, I'm just stating for the record. I've seen it. The definition of Ethiopian was Negro, and Negro was Ethiopian. You understand? Because then they trace it to the roots and the etymological, etymological brackets and everything else like that. I mean, I've looked in countless dictionaries, had some old ones here, so forth and so on. Now, in the newer ones, they just say black. You understand? They, they just say black, so forth and so on, because black is not really a color. You understand, um, but then people argue about what black is. So there's, so they say, let black people call themselves black. You know, there's no black nation, black country. We'll keep it indefinite. But even white people would say, I'm, I'm um, European in descent. I'm European in descent. Black folks would say, well, I'm just African in descent. While white people say, well, I'm European. I'm Anglo. I come from um, Albans. Uh, Al- Albina, Albain, Albain, I think that's the old name for, of England, but they say I'm, I'm Irish, I'm a little this, I'm that, I'm Swedish, I'm German, I'm French, uh, you know, f- Spanish, they'll get into whatever the detail of their past, but not, not black folks, not of this generation, but here's the key, we'll get into the Negro, Ethiopian, Negro, Negro, a lot of the Ethiopians get offended by that, you understand, because, you know, they need to know the truth as well. You see, if they knew the truth, then what, what they did, what that previous careless generation did, but we can't just, a lot of carelessness was going on 40 years ago. We should know better now. But they did not know Joseph. This new king didn't know Joseph. And he said to his people, he has his own people. This king has his own people. And to you black folks that, that say, oh, Obama, you understand? You think you're of his people. But here's how he looks at you. Here's how he looks at us. And we can look at Chicago, his hometown, for years, nearly 2,000, right? 2,000 gun murders. And the majority of these guns are legal guns, right? Which were brought in by criminal elements in the government. I mean, I mean the, 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 not, not getting into the whole mob in Chicago and all of this. You know what I mean? But here's the key. It says, behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Here's what a lot of folks um, don't get. It says, behold, not the, behold the children of Israel. That's how, that's how they tell it in, in Sunday Bible school. You understand? But that's part of the problem, too. They dumb down the people, right, and not teach the word. It says, behold, and teach reading comprehension. Folks are reading it. Remember back in school, they used to have reading comprehension? And, and now I understand why so many... Um, not my friends, but ones who were my schoolmates. Not so many, but there was. Uh, I didn't know how anybody could get that that particular reading comprehension wrong. Sometimes when I, I only had a couple of minutes left, I could even read the the whole you know 
maybe a last question or two. And what I would do is look at the questions and the answers and look at all the answers for a particular question and just look into the text. Which one made sense was talked about in the text. But then I recognized that folks, what they would do, they would read and then they would project on it their own thoughts. You know what I mean? They would project on the text what they think the text should say or should be about. And this is what's happened so much with even the scriptures, the holy scriptures. See, the church is the place. Now all this uh, prosperity, this Balaam, this Balaam, um, the doctrine of Balaam, which is the prosperity gospel and everything else, should be teaching the people how to read and how to comprehend what they read so that they can grow in faith and be blessed even as the as the reverend said can can be blessed by the uh, by their gifts in other words their gifts can can bring to them the blessings of god and they they don't have to be begging and shouting and jumping around and acting the fool you understand for so-called filthy lucre you understand and this is where the black church is you, you see what i'm saying it said the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil you understand so expect all kinds of evil out of so-called black folks you understand black folks don't say it too much anymore oh uh, uh, uh you never see a black person doing that black people don't do that that's white folks now you see the same thing they had this uh, alleged murder here where where it was rare that you you know get these and anyway i don't even get into that all right um so the point is that Pharaoh says to his people, he got his own people, right? He got his own people, and it's not black people. This Pharaoh, this king's people is not your general run-of-the-mill black people. He has his own people, and, and he has a multi-cult. It's, it's, it's a multi-cult, right? That's why he can tell black folks, you know, um, stop whining like he did at that, I think, uh, what was the NAACP or Black Caucus, Caucus, you know, uh, whatever. They should pull the cork out. You understand? Free themselves. Behold, the people of the children of Israel, the people. So there was a people of the children of Israel, and they were more and mightier than we. So, so, so we have to really understand this psychology here. You see, because folks, you know, the Negro have looked at Obama and said, you know, they projected on Obama every kind of thing. You understand? Every, every, every kind of, every kind of fantasy, every kind of dream. See, we live in a, a make-believe world, a Hollywood world, a movie world. You understand? Even where they have movies and you can choose an alternative ending. You understand? Reality is not like that. Reality is not like choosing an alternative ending. Yovas and the way the shitstem and Babylon system of things are coming. You understand? The ending is the ending. You understand? So you need to get on the right side of prophecy, the righteous side of prophecy before it's too late. But here's the key verse. Uh Asr, verse ten, it says in Dai Bezu Selfim Selfim a better Nessa bin Gize Alatocha Chin. Agzo in Dai Wagun Kamidritum in Dai Wetu Nu in the Ebeb Bacho Ale. He said, Come on. He said to his people, Come on. You understand? Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Let us deal wisely with these Negroes. So I was saying to the Rastas, some of these Rastas that were making songs for Obama, I think like Coca T and others, and ones were jumping around, say, oh, he smoked marijuana and weed and all of that. Now, got to find some information that some of that might not even be true. Maybe he was a cigarette smoker, you understand, like his father, but, you know, or um, his real father. But really, you understand that a lot of these things were like make believe. They, they kind of leaked it out like oh i shouldn't be telling you this so people think oh i'm getting a secret from the mass media which controls the thought they are letting out a secret they couldn't hold this back you understand that's all we're getting this information no, that's, that's all to psych you out you understand and psych you out and to buy time there was folks telling me that well the reason why obama didn't do anything in the first four years is because um you know, if he did anything, he's like trying to get through these first four years to disprove that that that, that a black man sees all about us as black people. 
You see, he's holding the struggle for us as black people. So we should not demand anything more than...